Hello, my name is Lars Nielsen and I would like to welcome you to the video review of the free YouTube integration module from Sitecore's Shared Source Library. So what's the Shared Source Library? It's uh, basically an open library where you can download more than 80 different free components at this present time and there might be even more in future. And uh, this is one of the components. This component I'm going to show you today would be the uh, YouTube integration module. Uh, and basically what it does, it is as allows traditional regular editors and uh, we uh, web admins to modify the design of the page and add live integration and syndication from YouTube. So let's have a look at uh, how you do that. Now there's, of course, in Sitecore several ways to do it. You can build it into the design. So as soon as somebody creates a YouTube design, they would immediately get access to the list of, uh, of content from the YouTube. But in this case, what I would like to show you is the control we use in collaboration with the, uh, with the page designer, another feature of Sitecore. So if I wanted to add some content to the new section, in this case, you can see it's a new section, it's quite blank. But if I wanted to add some content to this new section, in this case, I want to add my syndicated list of YouTube videos from my personal account down here. I would need, of course, to identify myself. I do that by typing slash site call. And in this case, I'm just going to log on as administrator. I also want to show you some additional design features afterwards. Logging onto the page editor gives me three icons in the top. It's an edit button. If I want to edit the content on the page, I can change the design. And that's what I'm going to do for the new section. So I'm going to uh, click design and by opening the design it gives me a lot of different options in this case I can add content to my button row that's where I want to add it I could add it to the right column if I wanted to have my list over there I could have it to my left column in this case let's add it to the uh, button row uh, placeholder I click add and that gives me an, a contextual uh, list of components I can add on this location. Now we have the YouTube integration. I could add a live earth map, but of course it depends on where you are on the website. So if I, if I was in, for example, uh, a specific section, a product section, we might not allow the editor to add something like a YouTube integration and that option wouldn't be here. Okay. I, I I'm going to add the YouTube integration and, uh, I also need to do the, in order to do this, I also need to add uh, from where in my media library, my media library is where I store my repository. And that's also where I can visually see my YouTube uh, components or my YouTube videos uh, syndicated into even into site call. But I'm going to select from uh, where I'm going to use that. And in this case, let me just um, manually type in the URL. And now let's assume I already know the location like that. And then let's save the design of the page. Okay, so now we get the syndicated list of videos taken directly from uh, from uh, YouTube. And you can see uh, we even get the uh, major data that people add to the uh, YouTube integrate uh, to the YouTube uh, whenever they upload a new movie. So that's basically how you use the component once it's installed. All right, so now that we have uh, shown you how to use the control directly from your page uh, designer, uh, which is very simple, all you need to do is navigate to the page you want to add your YouTube list to and then add it. Let's have a look at from how it looks from within the site called backend. And uh, I'm going to log out and then log in to one of the backend interfaces of Sitecore. And in this case, it would be the content editor. The content editor visually uh, displays the content structure, my data structure to the outer left. And in the right hand, I have my content, which is atomized into different sections, even though it doesn't appear to be so on the front end website. Uh, and that's uh, one of the strengths of Sitecore being uh, our content management system based on content rather than on pages. But let me just navigate to my media library. And in the media library, I can go down to my list. That's the list we referred to from my 
uh, control, the, the YouTube control, and we see the list of uh, components, and this is uh, live taken from uh, YouTube, and I can I can show the video. I can also, if I want to link to the video from my control, I can show the URL. But you also see the additional metadata down here, uh, the title, the keywords, and so on. And you can incorporate even all of those. We only did the title and the description, but you could also do search for keywords on your own website, and that would still honor this uh, Control. Now let's try to add uh, another list of uh, of uh, from YouTube, and in this case, I want to add uh, from this, the the controls uploaded by a shared source code in it, Jimmy. I want to show his list of uh, videos. So all I need to do is type in his uh, username on the YouTube. Save. Save. And then refresh the list, and then we see the list is being syndicated from YouTube directly into the Sitecore environment. And now I can start referring to that from my uh, website. So you see how easy it is. It really doesn't require any technical skills to uh, to use this control.